The 2024 Summer Olympics opened up to the world with a spectacular opening ceremony across Paris on Friday, July 26th, 2024. This is the third time Paris is hosting the Olympics. There are 206 nations participating and 10,714 athletes all competing for gold. Oh yes. (laughs) Ghana is being represented by eight athletes, mostly in the track and field games. PB, run us through a list of who they are and their respective disciplines. All right, Mr. Asante, Team Ghana is representing with a 21-member delegation, including eight talented athletes and 12 officials. The delegation, consisting of eight athletes, as said, is set to compete in sprints, high jump, and swimming events. They are Rose Yaboa, high jump, uh, Harry Stacey and Giselle Mensah, swimming, and Saminu Abdul Rashid, Joseph Paul Amwa, Fusaini Ibrahim, Botsu Isaac, and Benjamin Azamati. That's for the track and field. Well, it sounds like it's about to be an interesting watch party for Ghanaians. When are they scheduled to make their appearances? All right, the team will begin their campaign at the Olympic Games with swimming on Tuesday, July 30. Uh, Harry Stacey will compete in the men's 100-meter freestyle heat four. On Friday, August 2, Rose Yaboa will feature in the women's high jump. On my birthday, Saturday, August 3, shameful plug, Giselle Alice Mensah will represent Ghana in the women's 100-meter freestyle heat six. Um, it's the same day as Amati and Abdul Rashid will compete in the men's 100-meter event. And then on Thursday, August 8, the five sprinters will represent the nation in the 4 by 100 meter relay round one. Now, let's talk about their prospects for a moment. Starting with the 4 by 100 relay team. You know, after they beat Nigeria and the Netherlands in May at the World Relay Championships in the Bahamas, everyone seems excited, you know, for this particular team. After all, that is what, you know, gave them the qualification for this Paris Olympics run. And let's not forget about their performance at the African Games that was held in Ghana recently. PB, are you also feeling hopeful? Hopeful I am, Mr. Santia, because since 1960, Ghana has won only five Olympic medals, one silver and three bronze in boxing and one bronze for football. Now, concerning the eight champions that we've got on the field or in Paris to represent us, Benjamin Azamati is 26. Now, he broke a record in Texas to qualify for the 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games. So in 2024, this is his second appearance. Uh, Hopefully, the summer 2024 weather in Paris will be better than what he experienced in Accra during the 2023 African Games because he you know, complained about that. Um, joining him, Benjamin Azamati, for the sprinting is Saminu Abdul Rashid, who is 22. He's a debutant for the Olympics, a sprinter from the University of South Florida. Now, uh, Saminu and Azamati qualified for the Paris 100 meter event through the World Athletics Ranking System, Azamati 39th position, while Saminu got the 54th spot. My eyes are also set on um, Joseph Paul Amoa, who is 27. Like Azamati, Joseph Paul Amoa is a seasoned Olympian. This is his Second time, he is inspired by Usain Bolt, a 2019 and 2023 African Games gold medalist. We're hoping that uh, his chances at the Paris Olympic Games will be golden as well. There is, of course, Isaac Butio, who is 24. Uh, He's a tardy boy. I'm proud to, you know, highlight that. Uh, Together with Saminu, Isaac and two others, one gold for the University of Ghana. We're hoping that their prospects at the Paris Games would be high as well. We've got Fuseni Ibrahim. He's 21, a world-ranking African champion for the 100-meter and a 200 meter event. And how are we feeling about the prospects of our ladies? That is Giselle Alice Mensa and Rosia Boa. Uh, so Giselle Alice Mensa, 20, is um, joining the gentleman Harry Stacy uh, to swim. Uh, she is a 2019 gold and bronze medalist from the ASA SWR Swimmer Championships in the United Kingdom. And uh, Rosia Boa is 22. A gold medalist from the 2019 and 2023 All-African Games. She's a high jumper. In world ranking, she is number 12. First Ghanaian female high jumper at the Olympics as well, Mr. Asante. Whew. <laughs> now, now, now I'm excited. <laughs> I must say I was impressed with their fugu. That is the traditional garb that they wore during the opening ceremony at the Paris 2024. And I've seen a lot of chatter about it online. Um, PB, how do you feel about it, what they wore and all of that? I remember recent times uh, there was another event where I believe it was in sports where Fugu 
um, was used and some silly trolls on social media were wondering where the kente was. Um, let's not forget that the fugu is the attire um, with which Ghana's independence was proclaimed by our first prime minister and first president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. It's a legendary and iconic garb. It's from the northern parts of Ghana. Kente has represented so many times, you know, um, and putting the spotlight on the south. But seeing fugu in its glory at the Paris Olympic Games 2024, definitely a highlight for me, for what I underline for our independence. Uh, it also means that we are being inclusive and open opening the, you know, representation net, if you will, or throwing the spotlight, you know, wider than what, what happens usually. It's a beautiful attire. It, it would be great also for the weather um, in, in Europe uh, because of how <laughs> thick uh, it is. It's also colorful. And uh, seeing that uh, the, the gentlemen and the, and the ladies were on the boat, you know, on the Seine River, uh, seeing the gentlemen and the ladies, uh, you know, hoisting the flag of Ghana and waving it in pride in the Fugu uh, definitely was a, was a prideful moment for me. It, it really was a prideful moment for me as well, because like you said, the Kente has represented Ghana for as long as we've been going to the Olympics. I, I saw a picture of the Ghanaian contingency during the 1960 Olympics all clad in kente. So yes, kente, I mean, you must be under a rock if you don't know kente is from Ghana. So it's nice to also show the world that, hey, aside kente, we have other, you know, fabrics and looks like the fugu. Anyway, have we heard anything from Ghana's Olympic Committee or even the team members themselves so far? Right, uh, Mr. Santi, the Ghana Olympic Committee president is uh, Mr. Benjamin Nunu Mensa, and uh, he says, and I quote, we are excited and ready to showcase our talents on the world stage. Our athletes have been training hard, and we believe they will make Ghana proud. Those are his words. Joseph Paul Amwa uh, also told Graphic Sports, and I quote, we are set to do our part. Hopefully our best will be enough to bring home medals. We have positive energy here. We are ready to compete. Benjamin Azamati also has mentioned how excited he is uh, to don the Ghana Jesse and represent his country like many greats before him. He gave some shouts to uh, some of the greats that uh, he had in mind.